Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start part two of Wireshark, and we're going to show you how to examine cookies and grab passwords. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mike Lively has gone to the dark side, and that's not true. Really, uh, this is a very useful piece of software, and technology is like a gun. You can use it for good to hunt for your family, or you can use it for bad to rob a store. In our case, we're actually working in education, so we want to use it for good and actually get that knowledge out there so you can use it for good as well. Now I'm going to teach you how to set a cookie. And you might not know what a cookie is, so let's take a look at that real quick. Cookies are used to maintain a state in a website. It enables browsers to see different things. So if I log in and you log in, you will most likely see something different depending on the cookie that's been set for your particular browser. Once the browser has set the cookie, it must echo the cookie with each request. And that's going to help us see that in Wireshark. Now, Jeff Heaton has helped us out with uh, a cookie setter piece of software. And we're going to use that address, which is www.httprecipes.com forward slash one forward slash two forward slash cookies dot php. Just go ahead and grab that address, copy it, and paste it into your web browser. And what this website does, it allows us to set a cookie and clear a cookie. I may already have a cookie in my uh, cache. I'm going to clear it. And now I can set a cookie. But first, let's go to Wireshark. And you can see the site allows us to set a cookie and clear a cookie. So let's go ahead and start up Wireshark. And we'll do that right now. Go to Capture, Interfaces. And we're going to stop the present capture and go to Start and continue without saving. So we now have a clear wire shark so we can actually see what happens as we set the cookie. So click uh, set cookie on Jeff's site and I'm gonna call this something when you remember like Mike's super big cookie should be easy to remember and hit set. And what I'm looking for basically is to filter this out to only look at the HTTP so I can do that just by typing HTTP into the filter and hit enter. And I only see the HTTP request. And what I'm looking for is the post command right here. And I'm going to go down until I see the set cookie. So we we'll go down another one. Don't see my cookie yet. And go down one more. And you can see set cookie right here. Uh, test. Uh, dash cookie equals Mike's super big cookie. So that cookie's being set. And also that, that cookie needs to be echoed by the browser. So I'm going to click on get. And we can see cookie test dash cookie equals Mike's super big cookie. So there you go. That is the way to examine cookies in Wireshark. Now let me show you how to grab a password. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to grab data from a form. And let me just explain a little bit about forms. Forms allow web browsers to receive input from the user and can be captured by the network analyzer. Jeff Heaton actually provides a website so we can actually test this out. So go ahead and copy this website into your browser and paste it. And let's bring that site up. And it has a user ID and a password and a login. We're going to grab that information with our network analyzer. Let's go ahead and go to Capture, Interfaces, Let's stop the present capture and start a new one and continue without saving so everything's blank. Let's bring up the website and uh, he gives us the ID as GIST and the password is GIST123. Let's type that in, GIST and GIST123 and log in. And when we do, those packets are grabbed by the network analyzer. All right. Now we're only interested in HTTP. Let's filter out the HTTP. HTTP filter. Hit enter. And, and now you're only looking at HTTP request. And we're specifically interested in post, so click on that. Now I'm going to show you a trick. All that information is down here in this code right here. And this is very hard to decipher. And so one trick is to go to analyze follow TCP stream. And when I do that, you can see right here is that guest UID and that password. Isn't that fantastic? So that's how you grab the password 
from uh, the network analyzer. It is that easy.